Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today we are going on another intriguing deep dive into the fascinating world of the M disc, the millennial disc, and about its durability claims. So I've been making a few videos recently about M disc since it came to my attention and uh, may seem a little bit weird to people. I will say this, I've been dreaming for a very long time of finding something like the M disc. I first got into backup about uh, 10 years ago when I got into Linux and started regularly destroying my distros through uh, carelessness and the buggability, buggability is that a word? Um, the bugginess of uh, Linux. And it always irked me that there wasn't like, you know, in terms of the way, the, the first ways I knew to backup data, the ways that probably most people know is you just get one of those, uh, uh, you know, uh, Seagate uh, plug-in uh, SDDs, they were on the market back then, I think. And you say, fine, but then you read about stuff like BitRot and blah, 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 and you're like, oh, the data's not really actually that safe, at least long-term. So I always wanted some kind of data archiving format that you could set and forget. You could say, I have my data, it might be a pain in the ass to burn the data onto this thing, but at least I know the data is good now. And that's what, to me, the M-Disc is the closest thing on the market, minus LTO, and it's actually better than LTO for this, apparently, uh, according to Curtis Preston, Mr. Backup, uh, the Restored Law podcast. He actually, and he knows LTO inside and out, and he says that LTO is susceptible to bit rot, and M-Disc apparently isn't. So there's people on Reddit, on the Data Hoarder subreddit, who say, there is, so there, I'm not the only crazy out there who cares about this stuff. And there's M-Disc skepticism because M-Disc went, Millenniata went out of business and verbatim hold the tech and people say, oh, is it, is it a marketing scam? And maybe it's not that durable and is it really that different to Blu-ray? So to those people, I say firstly, my, my personal take on the matter is I, I don't think it's a marketing scam. Like I interviewed the M-Disc guy, Barry Lund, Professor Barry Lund, um, super engaged computer scientist who really cares about storage and uh, told the story um, of uh, you know looking at petroglyphs on a hike and then as he was already a storage guy he was like oh that's a great way to write data why are we burning data in terms of pitting with the laser optical contrast let so the the tech is a trade secret because people have to make money from their inventions that's how innovation works so i don't think there's any reason to be skeptical they've open sourced as much about the project as they can they've said okay this is what's different than a Blu-ray, it's, um, it's an inorganic layer. And there is DOD testing online, which we're gonna take a quick look at now. So for people who doubt, like sometimes people can be too doubtful and too critical, especially on Reddit, and I say, look, yeah, optical storage, it's not you know ideal uh, because of its capacity constraints, but this is a pretty, like, I, I'm, I'm, I don't have shares in M-Disc, I don't think one can have shares because the company's bankrupt, but this just strikes me as a long-term data fan is a very, very good product. And rather than trying to pick holes in its claims, I, uh, my hunch is, you know, if you're into data protection and people will crib about the price of the discs, it's $3 for an M disc and it's $1 for a Blu-ray. Look, if you're investing in protecting your data, right? Two, a $2 per, per disc, difference should not be a make or break factor. We're not talking about enterprise level storage. We're buying up tens of thousands and that $2 is gonna become $20,000. If you're a personal computer user like me, you're a photographer, videographer, and this is actually viable with the 100 gig disc, right? Somewhat viable. You might need to burn a disc every week, but that's not the end of the world. You put them in your optical case. So I think for me, when I'm looking for an arc, caring about preserving my data during my lifetime, which sounds super morbid, but that's actually where the MDisc guy is coming from. That's, that's my interest, by the way. And he shares that interest. I don't, I, I, the cloud is great, but I want to have my own data sitting in my house that I can hand over to the next generation. MDiscs are rated to last 100 years, some for a thousand years, but 100 is probably good enough. And let's face it, that's enough for, <laughs> handing it to the next generation for most people, given the average human lifespan in developed countries these days. So, you know, to me, it's, it's an amazing product. Um, anyway, let me now go ahead and show you guys. So that's firstly, the composite layer is out there on the internet. That's, now the Wikipedia, I encourage anyone to dig through the Wikipedia. I'm a little bit, I was gonna say under the weather, but why, 
why should I be euphemistic? I'm a little hungover today, but I'm gonna do my best to just at least start start to show what's out there, okay? So there's a um, Wikipedia page, and then there's a section called Durability Claims. According to Millenniata, the US Naval Air Warfare Weapons Division, I have no idea why, I, I, don't, I don't know anything about this body. I'm gonna just try to get myself in a better better frame here. The US Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division of the DOD, the US Department of Defense, um, found that M-Discs are much more durable than conventional DVDs. The discs were subject to the following test conditions in the environmental chamber. So that's the thing, right, about M-Discs. They say they're gonna last 100 years, but they were invented when, 2005 or something like that. So this is all, and then people on Reddit will say, ah, oh, but how can you know it really lasts 100 years because of 2005 and until someone burns an M-Disc in 2005 and takes it out in 2000 and what, 2105, we can't prove it. Yeah, of course. So as a surrogate for that testing, they're doing these accelerated aging tests to try simulate aging. That's the best we can do because none of us have no one to the best of my knowledge has yet invented uh, time travel as a, as a thing okay so the DOD took a look at it which by the way is in my mind a vote of confidence if the US government is taking this seriously enough to consider this as a viable media for long-term storage of presumably some kind of sensitive information right I'm not going to tell you what they were uh, looking at but I doubt they would be doing this for the for the to, to satisfy a debate on reddit the discs were subject to the following test conditions in the environmental chamber, 85 degrees Celsius, 85% relative humidity, uh, conditions specified in ECMA 379. Now you can really, really go down a nice little rabbit hole for yourself here and uh, let's take a little check down that rabbit hole as we're, as we're going along here. ECMA 379, what the hell is this? This ECMA standard specifies an accelerated aging test method, test method. like it's fascinating that this stuff actually exists, right? Test method for estimation of the archival lifetime of optical media as defined by ECMA International, who I have no idea what, what ECMA International is. Um, I don't know, some standard setting committee. Uh, so basically, if you really want to download the standard, let's download the standard and take a look at the standards. ECMA, test methods, a 40 page document for the estimation of the archival lifetime of optical media. Um, and they tell you, so this stuff is standardized and you can go through it and go through it and go through it and maybe lull yourself to sleep as you go through it. Um, but that's out there. So if you really, really, I'm, I unfortunately do not have the mental brain power right now, or I'm not sure ever to go through this, uh, the details of the standard. And I actually do find it really hard to read um, long PDFs on my computer. If I'm really interested in a PDF, I will always print it out. I'm sorry, it's bad for the environment. Uh, so I might actually print this and take a better look at it, but that's out there anyway, the ECMA standard for anyone, you know, really, really. So that's that. Let's go back a few tabs. Ah yes, the M disc. Um, according to so the, the DoD looked at it, and then also the French National Laboratory of Metrology and Testing. So that's presumably some kind of equivalent body. Um, they did ninety degrees, so slightly higher than the DoD, and also eighty five percent humidity. Um, the DVDs are with inorganic recording layer like M disc were still readable after two fifty hours. However, with an error rate above threshold, ooh, controversial and were rated less than 250 hours equivalent to competing offers. The performance was better than several DVD brands using organic dyes. That's not surprising. That's the whole thing about these. Wire discs were not always readable after 250 hours. Slightly lower than another brand which achieved a lower read error and was rated. So we'll have to find out what that was. Much less than glass DVD technology, Silex, which was rated more than 1000 hours. So uh, I've tried my best to learn about Silex, that Wikipedia is, is it's a dead link, there's nothing there. Uh, Silex, um, I don't know, it sounds like the next level MDist, like a really, really uh, crazy, but I don't think this is commercially available, this Silex glass master disc. It sounds to me like something that Hollywood has been using to burn uh, masters of movies so presumably where you know you don't care how much the 
this thing's gonna cost you just need the best thing possible there's some discussions on this mice website about it you can follow it yourself but to the best of my knowledge silex isn't on the market like you can't go and say hey i want to buy a silex drive and a silex disc please so in the footnotes we will find some interesting information we'll find the patent on google patents um for the and its inventor barry lunt and matthew linford of brigham young uh barry is who i spoke to last week um and you can download the patent it's open source pdf see nothing is hidden here so again the people on reddit say oh we don't know what's in the m disk it's, it's a secret if you're really really smart and know about data and data storage i presume this stuff will not be double dutch to you you can see um sort of the details of it again i'm not at that level i'm just a sort of tech fanatic but if you really really um know this stuff storage media you can read the patent as well and find out everything about about what's actually there so then there's also a 75 page breakdown of the dod's findings there was a two page summary that unfortunately is dead. It was, it's supposed to be on the MDisk website, but it's not going. I'm gonna just turn off the air conditioning because it's a bit too cold. Maybe I'm fro I've frozen myself with this, this MDisk discussion. Um, and then there is a 5.4 is summary of the test. Oh, this is the French, the French stuff. You can see, ah, you can see the um, URLs populating in the bottom of my tab here. So we don't have the two page at our disposal, but we do have the 75 page DOD research and we have the two, we have the French research. So the French research is um, here. It's a 12 page PDF, so slightly, slightly less intimidating. Durability of recordable DVD plus minus R and DVD made of glass silex at elevated temperatures and humidity. And um, we have results of the experiments on accelerated aging on page seven. Like any kind of you know scientific paper, it's gonna tell you firstly the methodology, then the results, then the conclusions. And we have here inorganic DVD R, which to me sounds very much like MDisc. So for so this is all really interesting stuff. Like whoever, you know, is doing this really, really went sort of all out on the... So they used uh, references of DVD and DVD-R. Verbatim, product four was verbatim archival grade. So I don't think these are end discs. I think verbatim also have a separate range uh, for archival grade. And it's, this is the disc. So that was disc four. And then they had this crazy Silex technology, which I can't seem to find anywhere in existence. The two models of disk studied M-Disc and Data Treasure Disk are made of recording layer made of either metal, metal oxide, or metal ceramic. Here is the M-Disc. Uh, and like, look at this, look at this. This is not. This is the stuff they were literally doing. They were like loading up these disks of different types of disks in this accelerated aging chamber and probing them this is like a real scientific study here so um and i again i presume government agencies who are looking at this stuff so carefully are doing so because they're thinking about archiving some really important data on this mdisc and this is where that wikipedia is referencing from after 250 hours in the climatic change chamber the mdisc exceeds the error rate threshold as specified in p18 the average P18 is 870 and the jitter is 11.8. The discs are unreadable after 500 hours. <clears throat> the measured lifetime of the DVD R M disc, DVD R M disc. <clears throat> they weren't using they weren't using Blu-rays is less than 250. And we can see here just the kind of results plotted out here. I need to put myself a little bit smaller. That we saw <clears throat> the this uh, Silex crazy Silex technology blowing itself out of the water with a thousand hours um, and we saw where is the M-Disc here we go millennia to M-Disc coming in at less than 250 hours um, but the Northern Star data DVD plus R data treasure disc did make it to 250 likewise this did and these products also uh, fell short of 250 in the accelerated aging chamber but then again is this relevant 85 degrees humidity what if you're storing your stuff in um, proper conditions 
So P1 ace is parity inner inner sum ace. Let's see anything else interesting. So I think that was kind of the conclusion of that. So that was the that was the French report, and this is the US report. The US report's longer, it's 75 page document, accelerated life cycle comparison of Millennietta archival DVD, prepared by Ivan Siv, so Sivrakek, at the life, Cy life cycle environmental engineering branch of the Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division. Uh, final report for Millennietta, approved for public release, distribution unlimited. And this is more bullish, as you can see, none of the Millenniatid media suffered any, de any, any data degradation at all. Every other brand tested showed large increases in data errors after the stress period. Did it say it was sponsored by final report for Millenniatid? And the people on Reddit will say, oh, maybe there's a conflict of interest. This will detail the test uh, preparation and execution and results and conclusions and figures and tables 75 pages cut to the chase guys what happened um super 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 long detail more crazy photos of testing out optical media in the uh, accelerated aging chamber um what are they even using what are these they're like they're putting it on like a metal clamp and with some kind of like this locking mechanism there I don't know, Incre incredible. It's called a disc exposure rack. I wonder if you buy one of these things. <sighs> Excuse me as I drift to sleep. Lamp array detail. Disc location adjustment detail. Chamber view. It's 75 pages. Stay with me for another few minutes. We're almost, we're almost here. We're almost here. La la la. Should I sing as I go through this? Uh, document would that make this video more interesting if i begin singing la 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 m discs m discs okay interesting so look you can even actually see the delkin disc they actually have photos before and after photos the millenniata before and after photos these guys are clever they're very clever they wrote on the permanent marker on the inside of the disc so this is actually the pro method I've talked about this in a permanent marker video that one should not write one should not ideally you should use uh, CD grade permanent markers and if you're gonna write anywhere you want to write on this part of the disc where there's no data stored so unsurprising that these optical media boffins were, were, on, were on the case and the before and after accelerated amber looks indiscernible no difference uh, no physically physically observable difference the, the Mitsubishi the greatest difference was visible on the Mitsubishi discs every disc exhibited obvious light and dark rings in an alternating pattern with the greatest fading on the inside radius before is here on the Mitsubishi disc and after is here yeah I can see that concentric circles um, yeah definitely I can see I can see I can I feel them I see where they're coming from more bar more bar charts more our charts again you can anyone can print this stuff out I think we've kind of got to the end of this where is the conclusion where is the conclusion did I miss it somewhere I don't know but they look all the data is here the PIE8 the standard stuff blah 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 I need to like just use the actual cursor here for this because this is very inefficient so that's the end of it. So somewhere in here, if you're really interested, you can probably find out like details about the methodology. I mean, you can find out all the details are here about the methodology and whatnot. <sighs> I think that's enough for me for today. So that is, uh, that's it. Um, I don't think I succeeded really here in uh, getting to the bottom of it. I I'm just trying to pave the way for uh, smarter people than I um, to really dig through this data. Um, because for sure on the subreddit there are much smarter people than I or much more knowledgeable people than I about optical storage and uh, you can go through these PDFs they're all there from the, from the wiki and uh, if you uh, figured out more or have more thoughts or figured out where the hell one can get the Silex stuff because I'm very interested please report back to me in the comments thank you guys for watching